Hi, this tutorial will help you install and configure Kobo Collect. So the first thing you have to do is to go play is to go to Play Store. Once you open Play Store, you search for Kobo Collect. When you find it, you'll get either an option to install it if you never had it before installing the phone or uninstall it or, or open if it's already installed in the phone. In this case, I'll prefer to uninstall it. This is because it already has uh, settings that I don't know, I'm not aware of. So I completely delete it and uninstall it and install it again. I accept uh, the request for, for permissions to find my identity, locations and other things. Depending on your connection, downloading it will take a few minutes and then installing another minute or so. Once it's finished installing, you'll be able to open it. This is the Kobo Collect main menu. As you're aware, you can see five different options. Filling blank forms, the first one, is the one you press to fill blank forms. You have already downloading it. But first, we need to download the forms. And to download the forms, we need to configure the server. To do that, you press the three dots in the upper right corner and press General Settings. Under URL, we delete the configuration of this current mod, uh, server and we set up our server, which is HTT ps double column forward slash forward slash kc dot humanitarian response dot info forward slash and here you put your username in this case, we'll use David Ogwang's username. Dog Wang. 99% of the, of the errors um, are related to misspellings in the server. So make sure you correctly spell it. After we set the URL, we have to write our username. In this case, it's the same one. DOG. And set your password. Once you've set your username and password, make sure the auto send options are all ticked. By ticking these two boxes, you're setting up that every time the phone connects to Wi Fi or a network, it'll automatically send all the forms that are already been filled. Also make sure that default to finalize is already also checked. By checking this, you set every time that you get to the end of a form, the form will be marked as a finalized form. We go back and then we press in the main menu, get blank form. You might or might not get prompted for your username. You have to press OK, and you'll be able to see your forms, the forms you've already been deployed. You probably will not see these forms, you'll see the, your own forms. So you press the forms that you wish to download, and you press Get Selected in the bottom, bottom right corner. You'll get um, a success notification for the download of the two forms. You press OK and then you can go to fill blank forms. Here you select the form you wish to download, sorry you wish to uh, fill in and it gives you a short uh, notification of how you uh, navigate. So it's probably, it, it, sh it shows that by sweeping right you go to the next question or left to the back to the la uh, last questions you answered. So in this case, the first question is my name. I'm Chris. My date of birth. You choose any date of birth in this case, just by. 
so back in the date. Number of children, I have none. My gender. And which mode of transport did I use to get here? And to record my location. These questions are designed to train enumerators, so they're quite varied. When you record locations, you have to wait for a bit uh, for the telephone to get the GPS signals, and then you record your location. In this case, this is my location, my coordinates, and my accuracy. As we have arrived to the end of the form, you can see that mark form as finalized has been checked. And then we can save form and exit. Okay, that means you're already connected to your server, downloaded the forms, and tested that, they, that they're, be, they're able to um, fill in the forms and send them. Now you don't want enumerators to ha that will have this phone to have, a to have access to your um, password and your username. So you should set up an admin setting. To do that, you press admin settings, admin password, and write under the new password, Kampala 321. Take note that Kampala is with capital K. We re-enter the password. And we'll make sure they're matching. Okay. Now that you have a, a set up your uh, admin settings, you'll see that the first um, lines are boxes that if you check or uncheck, this will hide or unhide um, the following settings from the main menu. So in this case, if we press edit save forms, since finalized form, get blank forms, and delete save forms, these options will not be available for the um, enumerator. In the following lines, you can see that you can uncheck your username, your password, out of send and Wi Fi and out of send with network. This way, the enumerator won't be ha won't have the chance to look at your username, your password, or or uh, define if um, the forms will be sent automatically with Wi Fi or network. By unchecking this, you're simplifying what the enumerator can actually see in the general settings. We press backwards and you can see that now the main menu only has two options, get blank form or film blank from form. Now this phone is ready to give it to your enumerator with the forms downloaded and ready to, for training.